As he bulged through the corridors of the Anecdote Media Group in Sam Yaoundé, Barbati Stem von der Job looks much like any other 22-year-old boy. Then he grabs a seat, and as soon as he sees a computer, he starts telling us about his work at the University of Grenoble, France, asked on the performance in cloud computing systems. Just to be sure that I've not uh, missed or uh, related work about what I'm going to, to present. With an IQ higher than normal, the Cameroonian wonder boy is on track to becoming Africa's youngest PhD graduate when he defends his thesis in computer engineering at the University of Grenoble, on which he has been working for the past two years and eight months. I wasn't really aware that I was going to be the youngest. Uh, do I feel any pressure? No, because uh, I think I really like what I do. Uh, if the fact to be the youngest uh, can give some visibility to Africa uh, teenagers, it is really nice because I think they are really intelligent, they are really, really smart uh, uh, students that are in Cameroon and globally in Africa. But when did he know that this is what he wanted? When I did the Polytechnic uh, entrance exam, my goal was to enter in the uh, mechanical engineering field because I had some uh, ease with physics, uh, mathematics. But in Polytech, I I just realized that uh, I was uh, really I was really loving doing uh, computer science subjects. I had really good marks uh, and I was uh, doing a lot of time at home doing some uh, computer science stuff. To be Dr. Job explains that he got to Form One, H nine. At the end of the academic year, school administrators promoted him to Form 3 instead of Form 2, and he says it was hard to cope. But being a smart student, he sailed through. <laughs> Getting to Form 4, Tister took his ordinary level exams, and in lower seat took the advanced levels, all this in the English subsystem of education. After a rough academic year, he repeats but does not dare to give up, notwithstanding the difficulties. Honestly, at the start, it was not easy uh, because uh, it started with an internship that I did uh, with one of my friends at Polytechnic uh, for six months. And when we arrived, uh, the first meeting, honestly, when I went out of the meeting room, I didn't understand anything. <laughs> you know, in Polytechnic, we are really we are focused on a, on a given market, which is the Cameroonian market, and the needs of the Cameroonian market are not the needs of our of the research we are doing uh, in France. So we had to really do a lot of background work uh, to acquire a lot of uh, necessary knowledge that will help us to do what we are supposed to do. So after that, we are really helped by the PhD students that, that were already there. His push factor, none other but his family. My parents really tried to give us the will to really give our best in school. But his life is not all about book work. He also has fun and helps others secure jobs through an application he created alongside his friends. With uh, some of my uh, friends uh, that graduated from uh, Polytechnic also, we try to launch uh, websites and some applications that permit uh, uh, people to find to easily find some jobs on the, uh, in Cameroon. We are trying to mount an application that is going to permit the uh, users to create their, their curriculum vitae for their CV uh, to be really nice and attracting for uh, employees. As he shares his success story, management of the Anecdote Media Group cannot help but look at him in awe. <laughs> Set for the encounter with his future, Dr. Barbatiste von der Job flew back to France Friday to prepare his defense, scheduled December 18, 2020.